the stitching on my hand there like flogged the heart of me that night she made me sleep on the concrete cement floor of her room like cold floor i slept there and she beats me the whole night <laughs> Hi guys welcome to my channel if it's your first time here welcome my name is Sassy Funke and I'm a Nigerian travel and lifestyle blogger and blogger if you're new make sure you click that subscribe button clicking my subscribe button means you never actually miss my content and also because I really want you guys to share this journey with me it allows me to share my journey with you every week so I put up content two to three times a week so Hope you guys have been enjoying this, my 30 day challenge. I think I'm on day eight now and I'm pulling through, I'm pulling through. It's really important for me to create content that you care about, that gives value to you and is actually helping you guys out. And that's one of the reasons that I've been sending messages to people that are commenting on my videos, what they want to see. One of my amazing subscribers, Catherine, said that she wanted to actually hear more of a story time video. And I thought, you know what? I want to do a story time because it's a great way for you guys to get to know me. You guys can probably relate to some of the issues and things that I'm going to be discussing and I think it's just fun. So this story time I'm going to be telling you guys about is about my Nigerian boarding school experience. Let's just say it involved, you know, maltreatments but I came out winning at the end, yes. So I attended uh, Apata Memorial High School in law in 1997 so I was there for my GSS 1 all through to my SS 1 so my junior secondary school just like high school to like middle yeah like high middle school but anyway like from the age of 11 to like 14 15 yeah. so from GS 1 to 3 I was actually a day student so I was never I never really experienced the boarding school experience until I was in SS1 when my parents had to put me in boarding school because they weren't in the country much yeah I was excited about boarding school experience what is that freedom you can do what you want you can just be free nobody can tell you nothing ha hmm. the house mistress told me plenty yes so what happened in SS1 when I was in boarding school the boarding school was also in a solo. We had one of these weekends whereby on a Friday, you're allowed to go home or whatever and you come back on Sunday. Since my parents were not in the country, I decided I was gonna go and stay with my auntie in the solo, who I normally go to. So I took my little self, went to a house in the solo, like 15 minute, 20 minute walk. When I got there, my auntie was not around, my uncle was not around, her kids were not around. The only person that was around was the house help and she was like, ah, that auntie has gone to Ogun State, so they've gone to Ogun State, so they're not around. And I thought, ah, instead of me staying here with the house help, let me just go back to the boarding house because I know at the boarding house, people are staying, some people are stayed over, they're going to be chilling, having fun, playing cards, playing music, dancing. And I thought that was a more fun experience that stayed with the house help. So I took my little self again, my 14 year old self, went back to the boarding house when i got to the boarding house i saw my house mistress she was like where are you coming from and i was like oh i'm coming from da, da, da. she was like i share you. you're going to go and prostitute yourself she i share you near prostitute i was confused i was like hey prostitute as in me me that i didn't even know what i was like asking i was like me about people to pick is me what's it and i just left 20 minutes and i just came back she was like you're mad you're stupid just like insulting me do what she did she flogged me she flogged me flogged my life that night she made me sleep on a cement concrete floor yes and she beat the living daylight out of me I don't know, you know kind of injustice that happens in Nigeria at times, they are doing those times. I don't understand how people got away with things like that, eh? But let's leave that alone, leave that alone. I took it like a, you know what, things happened when I was upset, but I was like, this is the boarding school life, let me just deal with it, you know? Then one day, let's say a month later, my mother came to visit boarding house, you know, she came with that Indomie, my, my food, money for me, I was so happy, me and her were talking, then she was about to leave, and she was about to leave the gate, eh, walk out of the gate, the housemistress and assistant housemistress grabbed my mother, 
to talk to her. I was just looking like, are they just doing their uh, gist, gist, what are they doing? All I know is my mother came back. I said, Funke, come here. I said, Emma. She said, kneel down for them and beg them. I said, hey, Funke, what happened? She said, Funke, I am telling you, Musa Funke, go kneel down for them. Knew that for them. I said, what did I do, mommy? Now what did I do? She said, they said that you were being rude to them. I said I was not rude to anybody. She said, okay, she I knew that for them. I said, but what? I said, these people that have been calling me prostitute, beating me, maltreating me, kini kini kini. My mother said she just wants to hear that she just knew that for them. I said, mommy, mommy, it is not possible. It is not possible. My mother looked at me like, hey, me that I gave birth to you. She looked at me like, wait, me, I told you to do something. And you're arguing. She said, hey. My mother just took herself and was like stormed out of the place, entered the car, slammed the car and left. Ah, people have liver. I went up to the admission. I said to her, Are you okay? How dare you? You first maltreat me. Then you have the audacity to report me that me, I'm doing something to you. I said, Never. In, as I went to her face like this, guy, I said, Never in your life. <laughs> I said, Don't ever try because if you try me, I will deal with you. Ah, God, I showed them who Sassy Funke was that day. Eh? They my friends had to pull me back like, eh? What's happening? What's Funke doing? Because they've never seen me like that before. The house me shook. The way they were so shook, like, eh? This girl actually, is she, she wants to beat us. Ah. But let me give you guys truth there. Eh? I knew I was leaving after a few months because my papers for the UK was coming. Eh? So it gave me the ammunition, the, you know, the fuel, the ginger to, to do what I had to do. Let me tell you something. After that day, they will see me. Ah, they will just... They, they just... They don't... Let's just say they didn't try me after that day. You know what? It's funny because I feel like sometimes people take advantage. These take advantage of us as if because we're young, we couldn't speak out, we couldn't. After that day, I knew, eh? Hey, so you guys, all you big, big people, I thought you were big, eh? Big for what? Big for nothing. Yes, guys, I stayed winning at the end. Yes, my left after Sha, so no wahala there. But yes, guys, that is my story of my boarding house story in Lagos, in Nigeria. I have a lot more crazy stories about my experience there that even my parents, if they hear, they'll be like, hey, we didn't know you were going through that. I, did, I told my parents more of the stories and they were like, you didn't tell us. And I was like, did you want to hear? Which ones you didn't tell us? Did you want to hear? You know? Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed my video, my story time. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you guys can relate to some of the stories. If you have your own experiences, share them with me, yeah? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you loved this video, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bakuruma, 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 baku